the back three uh, was obviously um, a difficult decision for you, Dave, in and around, you know, who to drop and, and then obviously the 6-2 bench split as well. Can you just talk about your thought process, um, you know, what gets Tom Wright over the line ahead of uh, Pattaya and then Callaway um, on the bench? Yeah, no, we, thought, we thought about starting cows. Obviously, we rate him highly, and um, uh, but the fact he's been away on injury, the fact we've got a 6-2 split, we think it's better managing his minutes off the bench. Um, yeah, look, I have, you know, between Tom and Geordie, uh, both both excellent players, and, and like I said, I think Tom's uh, been in the best form um, in a Wallaby jersey, and uh, maybe not as clinical last time out, but we're going to back him to do the job. He's a very good communicator. Uh, with Hodgie at the back, it uh, gives us a big kicking game, uh, which we reckon will be important this week. Are you expecting um, a bomb barrage from the box? And have you sort of picked accordingly as well to that? Yeah, we are. Um, and and we've, we've put a lot of time into it because it wasn't good enough um, last time out. So... Uh, we know we know the importance of that. They're, they've got a good kicking game, um, and they'll back their D. We've got to make sure that we can uh, win that air battle. And just on that six-two um, split, um, how how much did you consider perhaps bringing Foley or another playmaking option in, um, as opposed to you know going with the six-two? Yeah, I mean uh, uh, it's been great having uh, Bernard in. Um, Good man, a wealth of experience. Uh, hasn't got a lot of footy under his belt in the last um, couple of months. Um, done a little bit of training, but so he's 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 in reasonable nick, but not test match fit. And uh, so we just want to get a good solid week into him. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of uh, language and things to get his head around uh, around our structures. Um, you know, because he's he's the key man around that uh, implementing the plan. So. Uh, we felt it was unfair on him also to throw him in the mixer straight away. So he's had a really good week of training. Uh, he'll be better for it next week. So just while on that transition, getting bring Noah back into the setup. I think you said a couple of weeks ago you were looking at kind of his attack and how sort of deep he was. Just kind of wondering how he's sort of taking those adjustments and where you've seen that improvement come in. Yeah, he's trained well. Um, Oh, okay. he was disappointed with the third test against England. He wasn't disastrous, but he certainly wasn't as good as he was test one. So, um, you know, we said we've still got confidence in him. Um, obviously, with Quaid now out of the picture, uh, James got a crack last time. And uh, so Noah's got an opportunity to try and cement that jersey. I was just, just going to say, just on that bench as well, I mean... Um Getting getting the likes of Scotty Sayer back and Dave Parecki, I guess. Firstly, how good is it having that? Just that bit more experience in, and the sort of the reasoning behind Scotty Sayer have potentially like someone like an Angus Bell. Yeah, Angus unavailable still. Um, he's close. Uh, we think he'll be alright next week. Uh, so great to have Scotty back. And when you look at the bench, you know you got Scotty, uh, Dave Parecki, and Taniella. Um, there's a there's a fair few years and experience in amongst that group versus. You know, last test out, we had Pony on debut, uh, we had Billy on debut, and, and Matt with one test. So um, certainly a lot more experience and steel about um, the bench. Dave, just uh, as you mentioned, Tanyala, um, how would you assess his season to date? Obviously, he came back up to not playing much rugby before the internationals. Yeah, oh, look, we need more out of him. Um, he's well aware of that. He was uh, pretty disappointed with his effort. Um, in the second test, and um, you know, look, we we know he's a very good scrummager, um, but you know, we expect him to dominate with him without the ball as well. Uh, he was disappointing in those areas, and um, so he, you know, I, I guess the repercussions for that is he comes off the bench. And, and clearly, with the six-two split, it means one less back. But um, fourteen tests before next year's World Cup, I think. Um, Suli Vonavalu is a guy that a lot of people were interested about, big name recruit. But he's only had two minutes of um, you know experience in, in the Test cauldron. Have you got an idea about when you might look to use him? And, and I note that you know Marika took quite a while before he was introduced, but. I think Suli spent a few more years playing rugby than Marika did before, um, when he was younger. 
Yeah, oh, look, we talk a lot about earning the right to play. It's a competitive position. Um, oh, look, we, we see the value, and that's the reason he's in the group. Uh, we're going to send him back to play a bit of club footy this weekend. Um, yeah, oh, look, and, and the plan is to get him up to a stage where we we think he can dominate a, a starting jersey, and um, you know that could well be end of year tour. Sorry, just on that foot, just going back to that fullback position. I mean, you have another specialist fullback there in Jock Campbell. It's just right, that decision between Jock and Reese. What do you kind of have to see from Jock to to essentially fight for him to find his way into, into this world he set up? Yeah, I think I mentioned last week, but Jock's been excellent, um, and having him in the group, um, he, he's really impressed all of us. Uh, you know, he's, he's a smart footy player, really good skill set, deceptively quick. Um, so, so he's yeah, he's pushing hard. It's um, he's certainly in the discussions, and um, yeah, fair to say we've been really impressed with him. Yeah, and Dave, there was some interesting news breaking last night around one of your former men, Tara Kerbalo. Have, have you had any discussions, or has there been any discussions with him regards to a potential, you know, either return to Super Rugby, or has there been any comments at all? Oh, Tawada's making uh, a big chunk of change um, over at La Rochelle, so um, that's where his future lies. But, yeah, no, look, I had a, I had a conversation with him maybe four, five, six months ago, um, where he rung up just to say that if we got under any pressure, um, you know, if there were injuries, and he said he's, um, you know, obviously he's born in Australia, he's a former All Black, but the change of rules makes him eligible and, you know, he's a hell of a player. So, um, you know, we're, uh, at the moment, we'll, we'll, we'll be loyal to the guys we got. It's probably, probably our strongest position. Uh, to be fair, we've got three excellent nines here and Ryan Lonergan in behind that. But as we've seen this year, things can change quickly. So, um, yeah, I'll, we'll certainly keep in contact with Tawada. And, and um, yeah, look, it's, uh, it's a hell of a resource in behind what we've already got. Yeah, you got Dave, he'd be currently ineligible, though, right, under the Ghetto Law thing. So do you have is, – is part of that that he'd have to come back and play for an Australian team? Be eligible for you? Yeah, that's that's, that's right. So, um, um, but I, I guess all of that sort of stuff's doable. Um, yeah, like I, I haven't thought too hard about it. What I know is he's a great man, a hell of a player, and um, you know you got a you got a guy who's a former All Black putting his hand up to play for the Wallabies. It's a good sign. Sorry, just the last one on that. Do you anticipate world rugby would even countenance it though? Wasn't it sort of really intended to be for emerging nations um, rather than blokes swapping between all blacks and wallabies? Yeah, I mean, it's the thing with um, unintended uh, consequences. Um, you know, these, these guys, um, you know, potentially former wallabies who could play for Scotland uh, type scenario. So, um, yeah, I like. Um, I'm sure that's open to debate, but well, once you open the floodgates, um, it's it's available for everyone, I'd say. Dave, um, the Wallabies t- uh, have always, well, in the last, certainly, um, block of time, matched up really well against the Springboks. I mean, I just wondered what you saw with their recent tests against the All Blacks, if there was anything new there, or they'll just, you know, they, you know, they tend to play the same kind of way. They just do it really well. You know, is there anything I guess like you're expecting to bring? No, no. I think you've nailed it. Um, you know, they're um, got a massive pack of you know, huge men. Uh, they're happy to play without the ball and, and back their defence. Uh, they got some genuine gas out wide that can hurt you if you turn it over. And uh, so you got to be prepared to stay in the fight against them. Um, yeah, oh, look, we, we certainly know what's coming. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to get in front of that. Um, yeah, bring a lot of physicality and, and we're going to have to kick smart. Yeah, you know, they're, they're happy to play without the ball and, and, and apply pressure through the defence. So, you know, we need to kick smart to potentially get kicks where they're less organised and, and opportunities for us to play off that. How big a role does Reese Hodge play in that regard? Yeah, I mean, he was he was an important part of it last year. 
um, his ability to identify space and find grass and behind him uh, with his booming boots. So a um, big part of the reason we picked him. And you mentioned that physicality and needing to stay in the fight. Like how important is the experience that you touched on coming off the bench, especially up front? Yeah, I would think it's going to be massive. I mean, you look at the front row they bring on, it's probably better than the front row they start. So, um, so you know, our guys coming off the bench got a massive job. But, you know, we've got genuine impact as well with, you know, people like uh, Rob Liotta and, and Pete Samu. You know, can make a real impact and, you know, it'd be great to have Cal's back in the mix.